Hello YouTube. So I have uh, Linux Mint and I have installed OpenSCAD. Uh, the way you install OpenSCAD on Mint, Linux Mint is you open up a terminal and you super user type in your password and once you're in a logged in as a super user or root you can do an apt get install well first of all you should do an apt get update no matter no matter what just so you can get the latest uh, mirrored well the latest list of software that's available out there and once you have done that you could go ahead and do an apt get install open scat and I've already have it installed so it's probably gonna tell me uh, yeah there it is so I have the latest version already it says open scat is already the newest version um, which was released in 2015 so once you have open scat installed you open it and this is what it looks like here and what I'm used to is a dark background so a dark background here in the rendering screen as well as a dark background for the editor where you type your code and I noticed that's not the case here if you open uh, edit preferences and you go to the 3d view and color scheme you only have one color scheme which is cornfield so right now I'm at that place where I need to install more themes and I've never done that in OpenSCAD um, the previous times I had installed OpenSCAD it came with all the themes already pre-installed uh, so it seems like uh, in Linux Mint at least uh, that's not the case so I'm gonna go ahead and try to install these themes manually um, I haven't done this before and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a try now uh, first thing I always do is I google it um, and I have already googled it and this is what I found here I could re-google it so you guys see what I've done so you go to google.com and you type open scad theme and the first thing that comes up is uh, github's website with what looks like the official open scad project and the color themes for it and um, I look through the readme file here and it shows that it has quite a few themes available um, both for the editor as well as for the renderer so you get a nice dark theme where is it at let's see here it is so you get a solarized theme which I believe is a dark theme and that's kind of what I'm looking for something that you know when you're programming and you're spending a lot of time staring at your screen you want a dark background so that it's easier on your eyes and they don't irritate your eyes basically as much as a light background would and so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try it doesn't show you or well it doesn't say anything about how to install it so I'm gonna take a guess and say by looking into these files which I've done so already I noticed they're JSON files and most likely I'm gonna need to place them into a directory where uh, OpenSCAD will pick them up and be able to use them um, so yeah it looks like the themes are available now I just gotta figure out how to actually install them so I'm gonna go ahead and type let's see OpenSCAD theme again and see if there's anything here about how to install themes well let's try to say install all right so uh, how to install bolt folder open scad yeah it doesn't look like how to install bolt uh, open scad apply language file yeah it doesn't look like I'm getting anything so let me go ahead and just try to flat out search to see if I could find any where the themes are gonna be kept so um, let's see first let me go to my home directory okay and usually in Linux which is most of the time you're gonna get all these uh, directories that start with the dot which are hidden directories in your home directory and that's where all of your settings and configurations are usually kept 
Uh, there's a few uh, obvious places to try and look, and that's going to be uh, .config, and I'll also try to look at .global, I mean .local, uh, local and uh, see if I could find anything. Lo looks like there's nothing else here that points to where I want to go, so let's go ahead and try with, uh, let's try .config first. So cd.config, all right. Ah, perfect. So we got an open SCAD directory in the .config. So let's go ahead and open that. All right. So there's a configuration file. Let's see what it looks like. Awesome. Oh, there's a color scheme up there. It says cornfield. Right there. So it looks like this is where you could. This is where your configuration is saved. There's no clues as to where the colors, the, the actual color scheme files are kept. So let's see. Let's go to the user share directory, which is where the usually where things are kept uh, that's shared among all users, and look for OpenSCAD in here. So let's see. Perfect. So there's an OpenSCAD file right there. Awesome, and as you can see, uh, there's the color schemes directory inside. So I think we're getting pretty close here. Color schemes. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so we have two directories there. We have the render directory and the editor directory. So, ah, and there's all the JSON files. What's weird is the solarized is in there already, so it looks like the color schemes are already in there, but they don't show up as an option in OpenSCAD. When you uh, go to the preferences, they're not in the in this uh, selection here. I wonder why that is. Um, hmm. Well, here's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try to... Let's see. Is Cornfield in here? Looks like cornfield's not in there. Let's see what the readme says. Uh, that's the same file as what's on GitHub, actually. So, looks like the color schemes have been installed. It's just not showing up as an option in the program. Wonder why that is. Okay, well, let's go back to the preferences in my in my home directory. And check out what's inside the config file here. Recent file list, color schemes, open BI, enable open JSC, that's true. I'm looking for perhaps a, a flag that will allow this to check for other options outside of the home directory. Looks like show on startup. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here that I could mess with to have this start working. Hmm. Alright, well, here's another thing I'm going to go ahead and try to do, and I'm going to try to see if I could directly edit this here. Uh, so that it shows one of the other, I mean, so that I could choose one of the other options. And uh, let me open up another terminal here, just so I could get a list of what was in those, uh, in that folder of options. So let's go to CD, share, open SCAD, uh, let's see, color schemes. In this case, that's the 3D view, so that's, that would be the render. Alright, so let's type one of these into here. Let's try uh, solarized. So, solarized. Solarized, uh, well, just capital solarized. It, I'm assuming if we check out what's inside. Yeah, so the name is Solarized. 
but hmm. Well, let's give this a try and see what happens. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and close the program first, so that if you reopen it, it might work. It might not. Let's see. All right. So I went ahead and changed this from cornfield to solarize. Let's output the text. All right. All right, so I went ahead and saved the configuration. I'm gonna go ahead and try to reopen the OpenSCAD now. Uh, where's OpenSCAD? OpenSCAD, there we go. Yeah, so it didn't work. It looks like it just defaulted to nothing. <laughs> so, all right. So the next thing I'm going to try and do and see is that if I, if I could find where cornfield.json would be. So, okay, so it's doing recursive now. That's why it's taking so long. I'm hoping it finds, well, let's try uh, the obvious directory first. Hopefully find something in there, no. Let's get rid of the JSON and see if I could find anything with corn in it. Corner, corner ripple. That doesn't look like it's it. Let's try user just by itself. Cinnamon assets, miss corner ripple. Nope. Let's try. Uh, Google again. Oh, look, there's a local. Looks like it might also be in local share open scad. So let's give that a try. It's not in there. Maybe applications. Nope. Hmm. Let's try open scad at themes. How to change background color when exporting PNGs. Hmm. All right, so this one here shows that it's like a. How oh, is the site again? Never mind. Dude, I wish they told you where to put these theme files. I mean, how to get it to work. Let's try Ubuntu themes. Downloads, open releases, usability improvements, OpenGL. Hmm. Well, Here's what I'm going to try and do, see if I could get it to work. I'm going to move those themes over into my home directory, into config, uh, open SCAD. I'm going to move them in here, into here. Uh, so let's see what they look like here. Let's see, user, share, open SCAD. All right, so looks like I'm going to go ahead and create a folder called color schemes in my own directory. So 
sorry. All right, so my own directory here, I'm going to go ahead and make a folder called uh, color schemes. And I'm going to move what's in in the color schemes folder in the user shared directory into my home directory and hope that uh, OpenSCAD will pick that up. So let's go ahead and copy. Uh, let's see, copy user share OpenSCAD color schemes everything into color schemes. And let's do a believe it's a capital dash R for recursive copy. All right, so it copied everything into, perfect. So it copied everything into my home directory configuration for OpenSCAD. So let's give that a try. All right, so here's OpenSCAD. I keep clicking open, new. Preferences. Yes, it worked. So it pulled all of that into here. So now ah, I could go ahead and let me minimize this page. Okay. I can go ahead and select the theme I like here. Perfect. So there you go. So there's a dark theme right there. Now we just got to make the editor dark. So go to editor font. No, it's not the font. Let's see, how do we make the editor darker? Color scheme highlighting, perfect. For dark background. Ah, alright, there we go. That's just how much better it looks now. Well, I'm glad I got this working. Thanks for sticking with me and uh, took a good 20 to 25 minutes but I got the black background I needed here and on this side as well and things are looking good I could continue uh, working on my stuff now well thanks for watching